Hello. In this problem, they tell us the area and we want to minimize the amount of fencing. So we want to minimize the perimeter that we're going to use. So the area is length times width. So I'm going to, and the perimeter is two times the length plus the width. I need that perimeter equation to be in terms of one variable. So we use the area equation to say that 75 divided by L is going to equal W. Then we're going to go down. I distributed the two. I got perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. I substituted the 75L in for the W, and I get perimeter equals 2 times L plus 150 divided by L. So we'll start out with that again. Only just to make my life a little easier, I'm going to give L a negative one exponent instead of writing it over L, because one over L is the same thing as L to the negative one power. So again, we're gonna have to take the derivative of both sides. So I'm gonna get The derivative of p is going to equal 2 minus 150 l to the negative 2 power when I take the derivative of 150 times l to the negative 2 power. I'm going to write that as an exponent now just to make my life a little easier. This is going to be L squared down here now. So we set our derivative equal to 0. We get 0 equals 2 minus 150 over L squared. I'm going to add the 150 over L squared to both sides just so I don't have to deal with a negative right now. I want to get rid of the, I want to get the L squared out of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides times L squared. So I get 150 equals 2 times L squared. Divide both sides by 70. By 2, I get L squared equals 75. Take the square root of both sides. I get L equals the square root of 7. 75, sorry. So that's what L is going to equal. Then I'm going to plug that back in to my W equation, and I'll get 75 over the square root of 75 equals W. Well, if you think of it, 75 is 75 to the first power. Square root of 75 is 75 to the 1 half power equals W. When I divide those, I subtract the exponents, and I get 75 to the 1 half equals W. So we can change that back to a square root. Square root of 75 equals W. If you want to simplify those, I can divide 75 by 5, or by 25. That will give me the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. Well, the square root of 25 is 5. So in simplified form, you would it would be 5 square root of 3. And if you just left it as the square roots we came up with to begin with, it's the square root of 75. Thank you.